Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Tag Team Portugal with Arumba. We are at war with France. How do you want to kill France today, Arumba? Same way we kill France every day, Shen. Oh, okay. Attack into the mountains against his generals with no general of our own. I like it. Is that what we do? Well, we did it once. We're not going to do it again, though. All right. I've shift consolidated our regiments. And we'll send some reinforcements in case we need them. We have okay. no manpower. How do we yep. fight France when we have no manpower? Well, at this point, if we have no manpower, I'd say chances are pretty good. How do you do how, keyword? How does keyword shortcuts in this game work, Shen? Well, France has seventy-one thousand. If you're curious. Oh, it's the sh F1 keys. Got it. So he, sorry, he's good on manpower. We might need to murk up here just to compete. What? We have three hundred thousand troops to his eighty. That's I think true. We, Probably okay. How much manpower do we gain each month? 2,200? As, as, as long as we crush these armies and not let them retreat, then we're good. Sound good? It looks, it looks like the army that we beat a moment ago actually stopped in Borgongani. Borgong. Borgongongongong. Borgong. Borgongongongong. Goodness. We also abolished slavery for some reason. It seems like the right thing to do. It's historical. Oh God, look at those losses. Whatever, he's losing more. Relatively yep. speaking. <laughs> I want to hire a new general, but we're, we're trying to knock out this next uh, tech level. Which will actually make every single uh, fort that he owns obsolete. Sounds good. Makes it, gonna e makes it easy to siege him, huh? Yeah. All right, well, let, let, let's look at the window here that pops up. So we lost 21... 22,000 soldiers, 4,000 cav, and 8,000 cannons. Whereas he lost uh, a lot less than that. <laughs> but he lost more, relatively speaking, Shen. Right, right, because we have negative 46,000 manpower. Yay! <laughs> All right, sure. If we have that, that few, let's grab everything, <laughs> consolidate, take the merch out, mercs out, consolidate what's left. Recombine, split, split, split. And I'm going to recruit some mercs. Sound good? Okay, and then we're retreating back to our own land just for the sake of morale recovery. So many pop-ups about slavery. I'm not getting any pop-ups about slavery. Yeah, you don't get pop-ups. You're not allowed to have them. You mistreated pop-ups in one of your campaigns. So I think that's like 14 soldiers. I'll just keep recruiting them. We have so much money. I might as well just get as many mercs as we can. I know. We have like 13k in the bank and we're still making money. So yep. it's just going to keep getting bigger. And then we're going to be like, hey, we should build a canal. <laughs> no, that's, please no. That's what usually ends up happening. It's 1700. There were no canals, at least not the big ones. And canals are a horribly implemented mechanic. There's always that. Well, you don't like that you don't get paid for them? No, I don't mind that you don't get paid for them at all. I mind that everyone else gets to use them without asking you for fleet basing. Oh, fleet basing. Hmm. I kind of feel Seems... like if anyone wants to use it, it should be okay, but they got to pay for it. Exactly. Kind of like fleet basing, where hmm. they, pay, they pay you to be able to use your ports. The, the, my biggest complaint is just like if you if you're at war with the Ottomans and you build the canal, then they they, they can still use it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, come on, really? I'm I'm gonna just let you guys go through here. Well, we probably don't want to engage that army. Yeah, he wants to engage ours. I wonder why. Probably because he did some math and determined that his army is better than ours. Well, that's just not fair. His army should not be better than ours. He's what, France. What gives him... He's rolling nines, Arumba. Gosh, darn, I told you not to let him roll nines. It happens sometimes. You know, next he's going to roll a ten or something. We're losing 3,000 a day, 2,000 a day. Oh, God. Yeah, that wasn't good, but... So he lost 8,500. We lost 27,000. Yeah, but we have less war exhaustion than he does and he's losing 
he is losing. I mean, this this is this is a really good example of what you can do when you have this much money and this many troops. It's like manpower doesn't matter anymore. What's a manpower? Tuscany will cede land to the papal state. Oh, pope yeah. man, battle pope. Tuscany got smaller. He's still allied to the Ottomans, though. Okay. This, this isn't even our final form, Shen. What's our final form? Are we going to form Spain? I think I've banned you from hitting that button. Oh, goodness, that, that battle. No, what's going to happen, our final form is going to be when we have seven marches and they all do all the fighting for us. <laughs> you know what we need to do then? We need to take this province up here in Great Britain called Marches. We have to. <laughs> and turn them into seven different marches? <laughs> we need to start one of our marches there. Oh, goodness. That battle. Oh. Do you think that this is how real life wars happen, where you had like two Wait, why is Hungary generals? Here? Why is Hungary here? I don't know. Oh, whatever. He's not in war with us. To like, but you have like these generals who are just watching from afar, <laughs> you know, and they're just observing the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, and they're just like, yes, well, throw them into the breaches, <laughs> go for it. Of course, that's how we'll win. <laughs> this is real life, isn't it? Yes. How weird would it be if you found out that all the times in your life you've spent playing video games, it's actually simulating like real life events in an alternate universe? Oh goodness, you and Ender's Game. All the time. All the time? It's the first time I mentioned it. No. Oh. <laughs> oh goodness. Yes, video games are real. You heard it here first, folks. Tack team educating. Video games are real. Real life is a fallacy. I think it could be true. You never know. Where did that army retreat to? Is it in like Rethel? Um, I think he went to Limburg. Limburg? Where's Limburg? In Brabham. Would he go? Oh, yeah, he's got Liege. This is true. We need to get tech, the next tech so we can obsolete his fort. Uh, we did. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, he's back. He's back. It's okay. We're, our army is recovering. If he wants to split his army, which he will likely do, and he go after that 73 stack, he's more than welcome. But as soon as we get this this capital siege down, the war score is going to go crazy in our favor. Oh, yeah. How much does he have from the capital so far? 21. 20. <laughs> this has been a long war. We've been at war since 96. It's been five years already. Has, that's 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 I think that's one of the main pro things I don't like about the fort system is just that it makes wars last so long. Historically, yeah. wars weren't this long unless it was like a huge war with all of Europe or something. Then, of course, but even most of those weren't this long. Uh oh, oh! Wow, look at him split up into little stacks of twenty. What the heck is he thinking? Yeah, and look how the army in Auvergne and the army in Charlet has no cannons. I like that. And look, look at this, look at this. The army, that 39 stack, has a stack of 0020. <laughs> it's a, one of those two That's ones. the king! That's the king, King Louis! <laughs> He's not very smart. He's like, I love cannon. <laughs> <laughs> it's very tempting to just break the 74 stack off Paris to engage that right now. <laughs> That's probably what he's thinking. He's like, hey, come over here, look at this. You like my cannon? Look, He's he's got seven, he's got eighteen in the front row and twenty three in the back. Yeah, nice. So he'd actually have cannons in the front row if we engaged it. I'm gonna do it. We have very very little siege progress. <laughs> Gone by the twenty first. Uh, do we have force march? I assume we do. Of course we do. Twentieth. It's the twenty. There we go. We're gonna force march and we're gonna go kill that. And then we're gonna kill <laughs> twenty one stack with no cannons. And at this stage of the game, cannons are not just damaged. Cannons provide defensive pips to the units in front of them. So. Mm -hmm. You know, having an army without cannons, just like the one in Charolais, it's going to get wrecked. Oh, yeah. Look at look at the battle width on France in that battle in the, in the moor. It's just not even close. I mean, he routed our center, but we'll creep inward. and Yeah, that, that was the death of France right there, splitting his army. 
AI Smirt. <laughs> I love how AI Smirt's getting crushed right now. He just died. <laughs> Uh, are, you saying, are you saying the AI is not smart? I didn't say that. AI smart. He was sieging in Calais, but he only had three soldiers, and Calais requires... Let me check real quick. Calais requires uh, six... No. Is that six? Yeah, six. Calais requires 6,000. He only had three, so he wasn't actually able to siege it, but he was standing there anyway. You know, why not? He's AI smart. AI smart. So good news and bad news, we have zero manpower. Uh, I'm just going to keep building mercs. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Bad news is that I accidentally consolidated some of the merc armies as well. Oh, so no. You would never. Hire, you'll have to hire even more of them. Oh. But they're free reinforcement. I know. Well, not free. You pay for the reinforcement of mercs. But yeah, now we actually have too many cannons because the cannons have taken very little damage. Mm-hmm. So yeah, the mercs definitely need to merc up. We still need that higher all infantry mercs. Button. Yeah, that would be amazing. Higher I'm, all mercs. I, I just have to go through and pick all the infantry every time. Yeah, higher all mercs button's stupid. But you know, we have 14k gold. We could do it. This is the, maybe this is the exact situation <laughs> where we thought we would use that button. Oh goodness! Oh, maybe we can actually get some help from AI Smurt now. A policy has been repealed. AI Smurt has repealed the Liquor Act. <laughs> He's like, okay, okay, Portugal, I will stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry, I get I get tangent very. Oh wow, nice crush. I get tangent very easily there. AI smirt. We're actually running out of mercs to hire, so use them maybe sparingly. Hold, <laughs> maybe hold back a bit <laughs> on all the war, the combat. I mean, he, instead of actually engaging any of our armies, he's going after Poito. <laughs> I see that. I just want Paros to fall. Is there really so much to ask for? Yes. We breached the walls again, so that's nice. Alright, we have very little left to colonize. I guess to go for some Pacific Oceans or something. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you want to start maybe looking at the peace deal? Because we're going to have about 50 war score or so in a moment. Uh, do you think we can get one of those other guys out of the war? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Brabant, he's ready for peace. Done. Yep. And since we don't want land... Venice, oh. he's ready for peace. Done. Yeah, we don't want land from them in this war. Well, there's, there's extra war score. <laughs> That's the easiest way to do it. Certainly helps. Let's see. You know what we haven't done in a while? I haven't ordered our little buddies to go to war in a long time. Let's see if Just the Tip can attack someone. Where are you, Just the Tip? Is he going to attack with Just the Tip? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I find it mildly funny. You should too. Sword play has never interested me. Sorry. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> God, even with all this defensive mentality and luck, these damn siege phases are 38 days long. France, you suck. I hate you, France. Yeah, luck really shouldn't have any impact on defense. Okay, of Paris defensive is forts. 64 war score. Uh, let's just take advantage of the fact that we've got... A whole bunch of cannons. Uh, well, we've got the ability to siege far faster than he does with our tech advantage. Mm. And we'll ignore his siege of that thing and we'll go after his forts. Is that all he has left for troops? Yeah. No, he's got 54. I don't know where the other guys are. Hey, Deimos. Get out of the way. Cat in front of the screen. Look at that. We just showed up in uh, Rethel. Yeah, I we see that. Literally 14. just showed a 14% <laughs> chance. What level four is that? Oh, it's a level two. level two. We actually have a bonus from fort level. <laughs> it's so obsolete that it makes us better at sieging. <laughs> like the fort's not even there. Or the walls are just open. Like, yeah, just come on in. Wow. 
Yeah, what kind of peace deal do you want to finagle here? Well, I think we should probably get rid of Antilles. Like, take the rest of his, the rest of his colonial nation. Uh, we can't. They've been sieged by Antillian peasant rebels. You can't take it if they're sieged by peasants. Damn it. Do we need to go over there and siege it back for them? We could. Or do you just ignore just... it. I suppose we could just ignore it. Doesn't really bother me. Well, as soon as he finishes his siege of Poitou, he's going to come back and probably cause problems. He'll kill Anjou's army, it's the army in Anjou. And then he'll probably go for the army that's in uh, Armor, be my guess. Okay. So, we will... Let him do whatever he wants? Yeah, we're going to spread out on those provinces and be nearby to help out. But I think all these forts may have they may fall here before he succeeds. So he's got 31 days siege time. Well, his his siege speed is faster than ours. Really? Yep. Oh, because he's lucky nation, of course. Yep. Of Cheat course. Bastard. <laughs> Cheating bastard. What other idea groups do you want to take towards the end of the game? Oh, we lost a zero stack. No. The Battle of Paris. We lost zero soldiers, but we lost the battle somehow. Oh, we got Picardy. Hey. Nice. We have 70 war score now. Goodness, uh, call for peace. Yeah, that's probably enough that we can actually do the peace deal. <clears throat> Unless, I mean, if we really need to, we can just wait on these extra forts. They'll fall very quickly. But I think we might be able to get 100. All right, so if we give Milan's land back, that's easy. We want to take Lyonnais. It's important center of trade. Uh, do we just want to take all of the Genoa node? Yeah, probably. If we can, can we handle that much? That's 72 war score, 101 overextension. I'm looking at 87 overextension for the Genoa node. Did you go all the way up to Vaud? Oh, is that Genoa node? Yeah. Oh, 101. All right, so skip Vaud then. Screw it. We can come back for Vaud. Oh, oh, we can actually give one of them. We can give Monferrat to Milan. He's got a claim on it. How's that sound? Oh, great. Yeah, we take Vaud then, and we give Montferrat or Piedmont. I think he's got claims on both, no? He does yeah. indeed. Um, and we're going to integrate him. We can integrate him as soon as we get his opinion up. Sure, give him Piedmont because it has, um, what is it called? It's mountains, so if he wants to upgrade it, he can spend more points on it. We don't have to worry about it. Okay. Um, you don't want to just give him both? Oh. Um, does it matter? Like, do you want do you want more land from France right now? What's what, what's your... Oh, wow, our war score went down by switching that over. Why does war score go down when you switch control? That's so stupid. I don't know. Um, well, this allows us to take up through Vaud, and then I was just thinking we could give a little bit more to Gaïn. Oh, sure. Um, maybe just Paragord, since Limousine, we, Rorier, Jauvern. Since we can't do the... Uh, any, can we not do any of these islands? No, we can do some. There's a bunch. The peasants have been put down. Okay. All of the Antilles can be done. There's no more Afri uh, nothing in Africa. France has something next to us down in Africa. Taking all of his distant... Oh, and he's got a bunch of stuff over in the uh, Indonesia. I didn't even look over there. He's got land... He's got uh, land next to Ming. How much land do you want to give to Guillen, if any? Mm. I. He's got Hawaii? Damn, this guy's been busy. Yeah, he has. We've left him. We've left him too long. Okay, I have secured a one hundred percent peace deal that gives us gives us the the cores for our two vassals, all of the node for us, and then just coastal overseas stuff. So skip Guillen for more skip, for extra. Land. Yeah, yeah. Skip, skip probably giving him more stuff in favor of taking colonies. Okay. Because the colonies are ten percent coring costs for us. So how much overextension is that? Eighty-seven point six. Sounds good. Let's do okay, it. We can't do it just yet. Oh. We need more war score for that. Oh, and well. it's going to give us 80 aggressive expansion. Who cares? I agree. So let's uh, siege down a few more forts. Okay, we're at 77 on one of them. So long as he doesn't succeed in the siege of Poitou, there's really no risk he's going to do anything either. Even if he does, that's not going to be much war score. Well, I mean that if his army becomes free. Oh, yeah. I don't really want to have to deal with his army again, but... Rampaging French stack. Ah, see, there it goes. It's free. It was one war score. 
Okay, we gotta be careful. We have uh, no generals available. Can we get another general? I'm gonna roll one general. Yeah, let's see what we get. Uh, oh, Rumba, you're rolling poorly. I am, indeed. He's going to bury. Bury. Is it called bury? Mm-hmm. Let's hope that Rethel falls. 77? Maybe? <laughs> it better. Because that means it's failed at 70. It failed at 77. Oh my god. So it failed at 77. It failed at 70. It failed at 63. Failed at 54. It failed at 49. How does it fail so many times? It's crazy. Because we want to succeed. Is an inverse relationship. The greater your desire for it to succeed, the more, less likely it is to succeed. Watch it fail at 91. Well, we got Barois. We intensely want it to succeed, so that it's very likely to fail at 91. Can you get peace now? Not at 74. No, negative 34 reasons. We probably need like 80, 85 war score. Watch it fail. Watch it fail. No way. It's, it's, there you it's go. <laughs> Negative 15 reasons for peace now. Ah, we need one goodness. more fort. Well, we do have two of them in positive. We're good. Well, we just arrived at Liege and it starts at 14. It's amazing. Negative seven reasons. Oh, there goes armor. Done. We gained over 100 prestige for that peace deal. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to spend a lot of admin points on all this Genoa territory. That's It's worth it, though, because that's our primary source of income, isn't it? Yeah, that's our primary node, and Lyonnais is worth a lot. We make so we make 57% of our income from that trade node. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's where we funnel everything. And uh, we have 5,581 trade power in that node. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's what? Almost, we have 222% increased trade power modifier. How? <laughs> <laughs> That's not even possible. That's great. Tuscany has uh, an important center of trade here, and he only makes seven ducats while we make 240. Well, I think we need to attack, attack Tuscany and Naples <laughs> next, don't you? Clearly, they are our primary rivals in this area. Oh my goodness. Let me check the aggressive expansion map mode. Yeah, that's a bit. Do you think anyone's going to coalition us, though? Like, are we, aren't we we too scary at this point? There were a lot of people on the coalition list. Yeah. There's like eight or six or eight, somewhere on there. They might join. Who cares? It'll be fun. All right. Well, why don't we wrap it up? Thank you so much for joining us. We have been Shannon Arumba, TAC Team Portugal. We'll see you next... Same TAC time, same TAC channel? Is that what we say? That's, That's what, what you say. say. That's oh, what you say. You don't you say, say that? Lot. Well, you, you do. I watched a lot of Batman on TV as a kid, believe it or not. And they always said same bat time, same bat channel. I you mentioned that almost. I thought it was week. goofy. I don't remember mentioning it. You did though. Oh. Well, hope you <laughs> hope you enjoyed it then. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Have a good day. See you soon.